Hi DLRs, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to show you how to use Z-Wave with your assignment XTI and XTI5. We have the XTI setup, and this is the system that we're going to use to show you this, but I did want to show you what the XTI5 looks like. It's literally the exact same system, it just has a different case cover and a larger touchscreen. So if you are in the market for a new Simon system, go with the XTI5 as the larger touchscreen is easier to use and it does look a little better. But for all intents and purposes, the XTI is a great system and it works just fine. Uh, they, they literally both work the same, so whichever way you go, you're gonna be happy with the, the system that you get. And they are both compatible with Z-Wave devices. The only thing though is that they don't have a Z-Wave controller built into the system itself. The way that you add a Z-Wave controller onto your system is actually through an alarm.com module. The alarm.com cellular module for the XTI, XTI5, it actually has the Z-Wave controller as a part on the, uh, on the module itself. This is convenient in the sense that when you buy this module and install it, it's killing two birds with one stone because you're gonna be able to use uh, Z-Wave devices with the system and you're also gonna be able to activate the system on alarm.com. Now, the system itself, inside the system, the Z-Wave functionality is pretty basic. You can only control the lights and the door locks from the panel itself. If you get it activated on alarm.com, that's gonna open up a whole wide uh, array of home automation devices that you'll be able to integrate through your alarm.com service and have interact with the system. So it is the recommended way to go. But with that said, today we're gonna show you how to add a Z-Wave device directly to the system using system programming. We do have the system activated on alarm.com and we do have that module installed in it, obviously. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click the gear. Then you're gonna click the down arrow, down, down. You're gonna click on enter for programming. And then you're gonna enter this installer code. We have the default set, so it's 4321. I'm gonna click OK. And then down here on the bottom, we're gonna click interactive services. This is where you're able to access the Z-Wave info and, and settings from the panel itself. So we're gonna click on Z-Wave. And then from here, the recommended thing to do with any Z-Wave device is to first exclude it, as that will clear information off the Z-Wave module. If you try to include a Z-Wave device and there is some programming or information in it from a previous enrollment, it could screw it up and it may not function properly. If you find yourself in this situation, it's frustrating, but all you have to do is just exclude the device, that'll clear it out, and then re-include it, and it should work fine. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do remove device. Then I have a quick set lock right here. I'm gonna take the cover off. The system is now in exclusion mode, so it's waiting for me to hit the function button on my Z-Wave device, so I'm gonna do that. And as you can see, the device is deleted. So now we're ready to go and enroll it as we know now that this has no programming inside of the Z-Wave device. So if I go to add device, it says press a button to add, so it's listening for me to do something. I'm gonna hit the same function button. Currently learning in, and it says the device has been added. So we should be all set. So now if we hit close, close, close again and we click on our gear you'll notice that it says lights right here and if we press the down arrow it says door lock so if i hit the control button and i click on lock it's going to prompt me for the regular security code so one two three four and then the door should lock which it is again the menus on the system is pretty basic as far as Z-Wave controls go. You have the door lock menu and the light control menu. If you are trying to use or control these things with a keypad connected to the system, you'll need to get the talking touchscreen keypad for the Simon panels, as that has the same GUI or user interface as the system itself, and you'll have the same options that you see right here. But really, the best thing to do is to get the system activated at alarm.com as that's gonna open up a whole bunch of different integrations that you can use with the system, and you'll be able to control this stuff through the alarm.com app on your phone, tablet, or computer. That's how to add and control and use Z-Wave devices on your Simon XTI and XTI 5 panel. If you have any questions about uh, the Simon panel, Z-Wave devices, alarm systems in general, feel free to head over to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. Give us a call at 888-818-7728. 
or send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. If you want us to send you an update when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll do that. Thanks for watching and have a great day.